Vascular surgery treats diseases of the blood vessels, the arteries and veins, and now more than ever with less invasive techniques. At Methodist Hospital in Arcadia, we spoke to Dr. Peter Lin, a well-known innovator and expert in minimally invasive vascular therapy. We asked him about the types of patients he sees and their symptoms. As a vascular surgeon, I deal with patients with circulation problem. Generally speaking, these are folks are in their feet, 50s or 60s or 70s, and largely they have circulation blockage, mainly in their legs, for example. So typical symptoms are folks who have trouble walking. So when they walk, they may feel discomfort, pain in their legs. Um, circulation deal with two parts. One is an artery, the other one is in the vein. So if you have blockage in the artery, which means circulation doesn't get down to your feet, you may have trouble walking. Sometimes circulation problem can happen in your neck, in that which case patient might get stroke. The other aspect of circulation problem is vein. So I also deal with a lot of younger ladies, younger patients, can be male also, who have varicose veins. These are bulging veins in their legs, which commonly happen in people who stand a lot in their feet, commonly seen in teachers, uh, people who work in an office setting, and the vein can get boggy, so they can have discomfort, because veins are very tiresome. Dr. Lin discusses how these circulation problems are diagnosed. We use ultrasound to examine the circulation. It's a very simple test. There's no needle, there's no dye, there's minimal discomfort. And in that 15 minutes exam, we can find out pretty precisely the degree of the severity of circulation blockage problem in their legs. So once we confirm a person has a circulation blockage in their legs, for example, the next things we would discuss with the patient is how to make that better. Generally speaking, they can be done two ways. One is medical therapy. We will go through a process to improve their lifestyle so that they can engage in healthier lifestyle. That might involve more exercise. And if they're a smoker, we would encourage them to stop smoking. We would encourage them to have a healthier dietary habit because this can co control their cholesterol. And after all, cholesterol is a major component of circulation blocks problem. The second component is to go in and actually make the circulation better. This involves me coming in and doing some kind of additional procedures. That might involve place a very small catheters or balloon in an artery so that we can make the circulation flow better. In the end, by having more blood flow to the legs, a person will have a better lifestyle because they can walk better, they can have a better exercise condition, they can enjoy their life better. These new procedures are proving to be very successful. The procedure in terms of placing a catheter into the artery to make it open, to open the blockage, for example, is highly successful. In a certain location in the body, we may place a certain stent. Stent is a basically a metallic um, device that we can place in the artery that opens it. By doing so, it keeps the circulation open um, more longer term. Dr. Lin outlines how these techniques have improved outcomes. Traditionally, this type of operation is done through an operation. And nowadays, we call this a minimally invasive therapy. And what that means is we don't make a big incision. We can place a small, tiny needle, small, tiny catheters. And this can be done to open circulation in the leg so in the end, patient can walk better. We can do the same thing with the neck artery so that patient can have more blood flow to the brain and not reduce the risk of stroke. We can do the same thing with circulation in the intestines or in the, in the circulation blockage in the upper extremity or in the abdomen area. Instead of staying in the hospital for five to seven days, as you would typically in a major operation, this type of procedure is done as an outpatient, which means that you go home, you can return to work the next day, you can resume your activity and exercise regimen immediately. 